Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 41st episode of Final Round. For the first episode of 2010 I'm squeaking this abomination next to me is the one and only Alan Jabby Gibson. And what a way to start 2010 and with UFC 109 relentless predictions. The first pay-per-view where you actually see two living dinosaurs fight each other. First up is the fight between Matt Serra and Frank Drigg. Both are coming off big losses and their careers are being discussed about, with talks of Sarah dropping to lightweight and Trigg possibly retiring. Both are evenly matched in terms of records and BOs, so I really do feel this could be a good old fight. Has anyone noticed that these guys look the exact same? They must be fucking doppelgangers or lost twins surely. I mean any of you look at their UFC profiles and see for yourself. Both these guys have to put in a performance to keep alive any chance of a title shot. At the way the division is going in welterweight, you can never tell who is in contention for the title shot. I think this will be a full three-round fight where the winner's career will stay on. But I have a funny feeling that Sarah will take this. Now next up is a very interesting fight between Demain Mayer and Dan Miller. Mayer is coming off his first loss of his MMA career, while Miller is an uprising fighter in the middleweight division. We all know how good Mayer is on the ground, but Miller has shown that he can cope and submit on the ground as well. Maya has to impress in this fight. He has to impress with his striking to show he can cope a bit more standing up. Maya has to knock him out or get a few good strikes or knockdowns to get back in the title frame. I don't rate Miller particularly well, but this will be Miller's toughest fight to date. He can submit people, but I don't see him coping with Maya. So it's a Maya win for me. But Maya really needs to impress Joe Silva and Dana White, no arguments there. We now move on to the fight between Paulo Tiago and Mike Quickswick. Tiago was originally supposed to be fighting against every owns fav fighter, Josh the Cunt Koshuk, but he had to withdraw due to injury I'm not too sure how this fight may pave out considering both are kind of on the same level the moment. Paulo I have yet to be impressed with. Don't get me wrong, I loved it when he knocked the fuck out of Josh the cunt Koshik, but he's not put in a good fight, his last win was a close call and quite frankly he reminds me of Minotaur's first UFC fights. Swick on the other hand has put in some good fights, but then again got rocked by Dan Hardy. I really do feel someone will get a super fight if they win this, but who though is something to find out later on. I'm going to go for a Swick win, because I don't see Tiago stepping up. We now on to the sub-main event of the evening between Nate the Great Mark Watt and Sheil Sonnen. First question to ask here is, is this a number one contenders match? It's tough to tell, because these guys are coming off big wins against the likes of Maya and Akami. But then again you still have the likes of Vanderlei Silva and Michael Bisping. Nate's being groomed by the media as the guy next after Silva's reign ends, but Silva destroyed him. It could go either way here, but I feel the winner will definitely get a super fight, whether that's a title shot or the winner against Bisping and Silva, I don't know. Both men are very well experienced, have fought formidable opponents, and have got good records in the UFC. I think this may go to the full three rounds considering what may be on offer for the winner here. I'm going to gamble here and go for a win for Nate by a knockout. I feel if he gets the upper hand and goes for it right at the start, he can knock him down, plus his ground and pound would be vicious and tough to overcome. You like your knockouts, don't you, Jibby? If you're implying I'm queer for him, then go fuck yourself. Everyone loves a stand-up war, and considering how much you have down below and not on your head, you're not going to get striked up the ass yourself. We now move on to the main event between the two Hall of Famers, that are Andy the Natural Couture and Mark the Hammer Coleman. Both are coming off wins and this will mark the first ever fight between two UFC Hall of Famers, but I just can't, but feel Couture has an advantage here. Coleman's advantage is his wrestling skills and his power, but Couture's advantage is he's used to fighting at this weight, something I don't think Coleman has yet to come to terms with. I don't see this being a fight that'll give either a title shot, but at the same time the winner will get a guy like Keith Jardine, Tiago Silva, maybe even Rampage Jackson the traitoring the cut that he is. Coleman's cardio is going to be a big question here, and his debut at light heavyweight he just gassed out, but he got a very big win against Stephan Bonner, do you think 
if he wins this, that he can cut it with the top light heavyweights? Quite frankly, no. I think he's done in terms of title shots in his career, to be honest I think heavyweights need him with the injuries they have. I fully expect Couture win this. In fact if Mark Coleman wins this, I'll take you two buzzer black plastic off the go, fuck yourself Hall of Fame. And that would just be heartbreak for you wouldn't it? That is it for us. We'll be back for UFC 110 predictions and possibly the WWE Royal Rumble. See you all later.